verse 8, it says, But thou, Israel, art my servant, this is Almighty God himself talking, and Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of, tell me, tell me, the seed of Abraham, my friend. God called him friend, and the Lord is calling you friend. Uh, uh, let's look at another man. We're looking at Exodus chapter 33. Exodus chapter 33. And we're reading from verse 11. Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. It was possible for these ones who are reading about to become uh, the friend of God. And it is possible for you to be a friend of Jesus. A friend of the richest man in the whole universe. A friend of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. A friend of our Savior, a friend of the healer, a friend of the redeemer, a friend of the deliverer. And it will deliver you every time in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at this, look at this, Exodus chapter 33, and I'm reading from verse 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. Now to his friend, Moses too was a friend of God. And now for us to be a friend of Christ, a friend of God, what does it take? How do we position ourselves? What life do we live in the open and in the secret, anywhere and everywhere? Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loveth at all times. And, if, and a brother is born for adversity. When uh, in whatever situation you find yourself, you love him. You keep his commandments. And you walk according to his way. A friend loves at all times. Look at chapter 18. I'm reading from verse 24. Chapter 18 of Proverbs. Verse 24. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. You, you say you're a friend of Christ and you want Christ to keep you as a friend, you must show yourself friendly. Show yourself loving. Show yourself loyal. So show yourself faithful. And then it says, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. That is, you might have brothers and sisters on earth, but to stick close to Christ, closer to Christ than to anyone on earth, then you'll be a real friend of Jesus. I'm a friend of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 22, we're reading from verse 11. Proverbs chapter 22 from verse 11. This, uh, these are verses you ought to mark in your Bible. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 11. He that loveth pureness of heart, he that loveth pureness of heart, pure heart, pure heart, purged heart, sanctified heart, a clean heart, he that loveth pureness of heart for the grace of his leaves, the king shall be his friend. The king of kings shall be his friend. He loves purity. He hates impurity. He hates defilement. He hates sin. He hates everything that is moral dirt. And because of that, the king will be his friend. Proverbs chapter 27. Proverbs chapter 27. And I'm reading from verse 17. Proverbs chapter 27. We're reading from verse 17. Iron, sharpness, iron. So a man sharpness the countenance of his friend. As you read the words of Jesus, he counsels you. He cleanses you. He sharpens your iron. Makes you brighter. Makes you excited to want to live. And makes you like you want to run, run in the race that is set before you. We're coming to Luke chapter 12, and I'm reading from verse 4. Luke chapter 12, I'm reading from verse 4. Here, here are the words of Jesus. He's talking to you. If you're a friend of Jesus, any friend of Jesus in the house today, is talking to you. Look at this. In, in Luke chapter 12, verse 4, it says, And I say unto you, my friends, I say unto you, tell me, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, they have nothing. They have no more that they can do. He's talking to his friends. And if you are his friend, look at verse 5. But I will forewarn you. Whom ye shall fear. Fear him. 
which after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two fathers? And not one of them is forgotten before God, but even the very ears of your head are all numbered. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. If you has numbered the very ears of your head, even the one you go to shave off at the barber's shop, he's counted everything, how much more your kidney, your intestine, your eyeballs, and your ear, and every part of you, you are protected. You're secured. It says, even the very ears of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than of many sparrows. And I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denies me before men... He that denies me before men. The one that is so much afraid of sinners, afraid of persecutors, afraid of evil people. And they say, you belong to Christ. And say, no, I don't belong to Christ. Shame on you. I belong to Christ. I said, I belong to Christ. In the office, let them know by your character, by your lifestyle, by your witnessing, you know, and by everything you do, that you are a different person, that you have been converted, that you are a real child of God. You are not ashamed of Christ. In your family, let them know, I belong to Christ. In your community, let them know, I belong to Christ. Because it says, he that denies me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. I will not deny the Lord. We're coming to John chapter 3, John chapter 3, and I'm reading from verse 29. John chapter 3, verse 29, it says, He that has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy Therefore, is fulfilled. Look at uh, verse 30. Here is a true friend. Here is a real friend. The friend of the bridegroom. The friend of Jesus Christ. The head of the church. He says, I'm his friend. And look at his attitude. This will be your attitude. He must increase. In your life, he will increase. All around you, he will increase. But I must decrease. That's the attitude and that's the language of a person that says, I'm a friend of Christ, I love Christ, and I keep the commandments of Christ. Let's come to James chapter 4, and I'm reading from verse 4. James chapter 4, reading from verse 4. It tells us in James chapter 4 verse 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses, Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Is that you know something here? If you're a real friend of Christ, a real friend of our Savior, then you will not be a friend of the world, drinking what the world is drinking, wearing what the world is wearing, and smoking what the world is smoking. You'll be totally different. And the grace of God will be multiplied in your life. Even from today, you will be different from the world in Jesus' name. Because it says, adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is sent me to with God, whosoever therefore, whosoever therefore, I have been coming to this uh, deeper life for 20 years, but are you still a friend of the world? I've been uh, coming to this church, I was, you know, at that retreat, at that conference, at this and at that, but to look at your life. What is the difference in your life? And what is the change in your life? Whosoever, whoever you are, I ever owe Old in the church you might be, it says, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. I will not be an enemy of God. I said I will not be an enemy of God. The question then is, are you a true friend? Are you converted? Are you a true friend? Are you abiding in Christ? Are you a true friend? Are you clean by the word he has spoken to you? Are you a true friend? Are you faithful unto the Lord? Are you a true friend? Are you witnessing? Are you telling other people about this, your friend, about this, Lord Jesus Christ? 
who has taken hold of your life, who has cleansed you, who has converted you, who has changed you? Are you fruitful? If you say you're a friend of Christ, are you fruitful? Are you obedient to the word of the Lord? If you say you're a friend of Christ, are you trustworthy? What's the privilege of the people who are real children of God? The privilege of the people who are really committed unto the Lord? What's the privilege of the people who are really uh, faithful and fruitful and friendly with the Lord? We're coming back to John chapter 15. John chapter 15. I'm going to do something here now. I'm going to read the first verse that we started with. That's verse 7. And I'm going to read verse 16. Verse 7, then verse 16. Look at this. It says in verse 7, If ye abide in me, you will abide in the Lord. And my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Did you hear that? I'm going to read that again. It says, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Yeah. Uh, look, at, look at verse 16. Look at verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, and that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Look at this. Look at this. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, may give it to you. He'll give it to you. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that promise of God is so important. Look at chapter 14. John chapter 14. I'm reading from verse 13. In John chapter 14 verse 13. And whatsoever, see that, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that I will do, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it if you love me, keep my commandments. Look at chapter 16, and I'm reading from verse 23. Chapter 16, verse 23, John 16, 23, it says, And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, tell me, tell me, say it aloud. Whatsoever, whatsoever, ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. He'll do it for you every time in Jesus' name. Uh, look at First John chapter 3, First John chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 22. First John chapter 3, verse 22. And whatsoever, whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things which are pleasing in his sight and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another as he gave us commandment look at verse 24 and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him and he in him and hereby we know that he abideth in us by his spirit, the spirit which he has given us. Chapter 5, 1 John chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 14. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask, tell me. If we ask, tell me out aloud. You know, if you ask for salvation, he will give salvation. And if you're asking for sanctification, he'll give sanctification. If you need healing, praise the Lord tonight. He has healed you already in Jesus' name. If you need deliverance, it is done. If you ask anything in my name, and you need whatever it is you need for yourself, for your family, for your soul, for your spirit, for your body, he answers prayer. Once we are friends of Christ, and we love Christ with all our heart and all our soul, and we prove it by the life we live. We prove it by submission to his commandment. He says in that verse 14, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything, According to his will, he heareth us. And if we know, thank God I know. Somebody there says, thank God I know. He says, and if we know that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have desired of him. Somebody's prayers answer tonight. Yeah. Where is he? 
What is she there? Because he says we know that our petitions are granted because we desired each of him. You are going to be a fruit. And one of the major prayers we are going to pray tonight is, so Lord, help me. I'm connected with Christ. I'm associated with Christ. I'm converted by Christ. I'm abiding in Christ. I want to be a fruit. You will be a fruit. I said you will be a fruit. And every other need in your life, the Lord will supply in Jesus' name. From tonight, the spring of joy will begin to flow in your life. And will continue to flow, to flow, to flow until joy will fill your heart, will fill your soul, will fill your personality, and will fill your family in Jesus' name. Rise up and tell the Lord is going to answer your prayer tonight. Rise up and tell the Lord is going to answer your prayer tonight. Rise up and tell the Lord is going to answer your prayer tonight. The Lord demands fruit and the Lord desires fruit. And the Lord has shown us naturally and spiritually. He wants fruit bearing in our lives. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. There's a price to pay. You must abide in the Lord. You must be saved. You must be saved. You must be connected to the Lord Jesus Christ and you must be willing, you must desire, you must tell the Lord oh Lord, I bring everything to the altar, I consecrate everything to the altar Purge me, prepare me, purify me, do everything that is necessary. Oh Lord, whatever I've been withholding, whatever I've been holding back, I lay everything at the altar today. Do this for me and the Lord will do it for you. He'll purge you, he'll purify you, and then he'll prepare you to bring more fruit unto the Lord. Fruitfulness, fruitfulness with faithfulness, with, with a fellowship, and with totally leaning upon the Lord. And then you say, I will not draw back, I will not go back. I'm going to keep on depending on the Lord all the days of my life. And then he tells you, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you. And I've chosen you purposefully. I've chosen you profitably. I've chosen you practically. I've chosen so that you will bear fruit and your fruit will abide. And whatsoever you will ask the Father in in my name, he said he will do it. Brethren, the door of heaven is open to you tonight to ask whatsoever you desire as friends of Jesus. Only let your demand and desire for fruitfulness be priority of your life tonight. Let the task and the hunger for fruitfulness starts to burn in your heart tonight. Let's close our eyes and talk to the Lord in prayer. That tonight, Lord, my heart desire is to be like thee. I want to be fruitful. I want the blessing and the desire and the demand of God to be, to be, to be realized in my life. Let's open our mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. You are longing for fruit of repentance tonight. The door is open for you. You can ask and forgiveness will be granted. Salvation will be yours. Transformation will be seen in your life. Ask what you want God to do for you tonight. The door of heaven is open. Are you panting for regeneration in character? in behavior, in attitude, in talking, in your emotion and reaction to situations in life. The door is open tonight. The Bible says whatsoever, whatsoever you desire tonight is going to be given unto you. Let's call upon the Lord and tell him the desire of our hearts tonight. God is ready to answer whatever we are asking from him tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Give me good amen. Are you interested in the fruit of reconciliation and restoration? Jesus says, I will do it. Ask from the Lord right now. Lord, I need the fruit of reconciliation, the fruit of restoration. I want you to perform this in my life right now. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. 
the Lord is hearing you as you call upon him. He says, call upon me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Is the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of resurrection, the fruit of revelation, and the fruit of reunion with Christ your choice tonight. Ask, and ye shall receive. The Lord has opened the door for us. Whatsoever, whatsoever, ye shall ask the Father in my name. He will do it. God will do it. And whatsoever you are asking Jesus tonight, Jesus has promised he will do it for you. Lord, I want to bear fruit, the fruit of righteousness, the, full, the fruit of revelation, the fruit of reunion with Christ. Call upon the Lord, he will do it for you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Again, let me hear your amen. We are going to call upon God to plant in us, plant in you, plant in me, and in the heart of every one of us, the fruit of renewal and revival. We need revival in our lives. Revival of winning souls, renewal of strength to go out and preach the gospel. Let's pray and talk to the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord that we need the fruit of resemblance. We want to be like our God. We want to be like the Savior. In word, in action, in performance, in obedience to the Father. I want to resemble my Savior. Talk to the Lord in prayer. And the Lord will answer your prayer tonight. You talk to the Lord and say, Oh Lord, make me to be like they. Make me an agent of revival. Oh Lord. Make me an agent of revival in my own life. I want to see revival. I want to the fire of revival to spark up in my life. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Tell the Lord tonight is a night of receiving from heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Tell the Lord to help you. To bear the fruit of reproduction. The fruit of reproduction. Lord, I need the fruit of reproduction in my life. Of uh, having the, the word of Christ being fulfilled in my life. That what he has done, I will do. And greater works than that, I will do. You will do works of miracle signs and wonders. In your life and ministry. Let's pray that the Lord will confirm this in our lives. Confirm this for us, that we have that fruit of reproduction in our life, producing great fruit, winning souls to the kingdom of God. That's what God has purposed for us, and is going to be fulfilled in our lives, in our ministry. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Tell the Lord to purge you and help you to be dead completely to the world and be alive to God to the end. It is then and then alone we can have that fruit of reproduction. Our life reproducing great and mighty things to the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tell the Lord you will fully identify with Christ from this moment henceforth and that heavenly vision will be delivered unto you once again and this heavenly vision that is de delivered faithfully to the saints you are going to carry it out faithfully open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer help me dear Lord to be fully identified with Christ Identify with the heavenly vision that was once delivered to the faithful saints. Help me to be faithful to the heavenly vision. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer that the Lord will do this in your life. God is willing. He desired it. He demanded it from the beginning that we are going to go forth and be fruitful. Let's pray to the Lord. 
to do this in our life. Time is running out. We must have that fruit, the spiritual fruit, the natural fruit, in all the areas of our life. Let's tell the Lord, help me to be fruitful. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And every one of us will say, Amen. We're going to tell the Lord that the Lord will fully help us. At this time, you will pray that the Lord will help you to be obedient to his word. Let's open our mouth and talk to the Lord. Obedience to the word of the Lord. Obedience to his commandments. That every day we will listen to the Lord. In every areas of our life, as he's leading and guiding us, as he's directing us and prompting us, we're going to learn of him the way he was obedient to the Father. Even obedience to the death, to the point of death, he was not following his own will. He said, not my will, but thy own will be done. O oh God, help me to be obedient in all to thee and to learn of thee. Let's open our mouth and talk to the Lord. That as from this moment, we'll be living only for his glory. Not for this world's glory. Living only for his glory. Laboring constantly, consistently in his vineyard. Let's talk to the Lord. That from this night, as we have had this revelation of the truth of the word of God, Help me to labor consistently, persistently, passionately, you know, in the vineyard of the Lord. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. That's what the Lord is expecting from every one of us. We labor for him, not for the world, not for the flesh. Let's pray that the Lord will help us to lead souls to his kingdom at all costs. I tell the cost, whatever the cost may be, that we will desire it, we will do it, we will carry it out from time to time. Let's pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray that God will help us to remain a true, in a true friendship with Christ, a true friend of Christ having fellowship with him every day, every moment, loyal to his cause. Let's open our mouth and talk to the Lord. Make me your friend to the end, O God. I will be the friend of Christ to the end. Help me to be loyal to your cause at all costs. Loving your ways, loving your words, and going in your own way. Let's pray and talk to the Lord. The Lord is willing to do this in our life tonight. Let's pray also. As a faithful, loyal friend, we must be lowering ourselves. As John said, let him increase, let I, I in me, self in me, decrease. Open your mouth and talk to the, to the Lord. Lord, let your power, let your beauty, let your glory increase more and more. Why I decrease? Why flesh decrease? Help me by your grace and by your power that every day of my life I will lift up Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. We're going to pray as we look at all that the Lord has ministered to us tonight. We're going to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you because I know my prayers have been answered tonight. All that I've asked and all other ones I will still ask you. I know there is an answer because you have given me the assurance. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will do it. 
He will give it unto me. He will give it unto you. And so let's bless the name of the Lord for answering our prayers tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much because of the love you love us and the precious promises you have given unto us in your word that we are going to be fruitful and multiply. In our spiritual life, multiplication has come. In our natural life, multiplication has come. In our family life, in whatever we lay our hands upon to do for you in the kingdom, it shall prosper in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying that as from tonight, fruitfulness will be our portion. It will be seen in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying, O oh God, in our heart, we shall be fruitful. In our family, we shall be fruitful. In the work of the Lord, we shall be fruitful. And I pray that tonight, as many as have asked you, even in the natural, those who are barren, there's no barrenness in your kingdom, we are asking that tonight, all the people that are looking up unto you for fruitfulness in their own seed, in their body, I pray, Lord, that you make them to be fruitful in Jesus' name. Barrenness cancelled tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Miscarriage cancelled in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying, O oh God, that in the work of the Lord, we shall remain you know, uh, profitable to that kingdom as we bear fruit daily in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In this forthcoming retreat, move in our midst. And before then, I pray that you help every one of us to go out and invite people you know, to the program, to the crusade and the retreat. Lord, let it be so in Jesus' name that in this year's retreat, a lot and a lot of blessings will flow in as we invite the people, as we bring them to the place, and as we raise up our faith unto heaven. Abundant blessings will be our portion. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let everybody say amen. Joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus' name. It's a prophecy specifically for you this December 2022. If Jesus takes off his hand from upholding the earth, the stars, the moon, the sun, everything will collapse. But Fret not. GCK Authority has announced the next level move. Christ comes and intervenes in your life. In the hospital there, you will not die. Christ, your great transformer, this December will lead you to triumph. Zoom into your December 2022. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. The Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for Youth, Young Adults and Professionals. Titled Recharge to Excel. December 27, 2022 at 0600 hours GMT. All broadcasts live on satellite, radio, television, and all our social media platform. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumoyi says, You'll praise God. Amen. You'll give your testimony. And more, as excellent worship comes from the USA with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the, the gospel, gospel to every creature. Joy in the city, joy in your life, joy in your family.